In this video, we're going to look at how we can find the equation of the line if we are only given two points. The thing you notice is missing is that to find the equation of a line, we must have the slope. which means we have to recall the slope formula that m, the slope, is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's one of those very important formulas you should have memorized by now. You also def have to find not just the slope, though, we also need to find the y-intercept, which means we have to remember the equation y equals mx plus b. That's that second important formula. And we have to solve that equation for b using all the information we know. So for example, if we have the two points, negative 3, negative 5, and 2, comma 5, we can find the equation of the line that connects these two points. First, we need to know the slope. Remember that the points are x, y pairs, and we have a first point and a second point. So slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Well, the y from the second point is 5 minus the y1, which is negative 5, over x2, which is 2, minus the x1, which is negative 3. Subtracting a negative is like adding a positive, so we end up with 10 over 5, which reduces to 2. The slope of the line is 2. Now we have the slope, we need to find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, we use that other equation, that y is equal to mx plus b, and plug in whatever we can find to help us find the b. This time, we've got a couple points to choose from for x and y. It doesn't really matter which point we use, we'll get the same value for b, as long as we don't switch halfway through. So let's just use the first point. Let's just use negative 3, negative 5, and the slope of 2. Okay, well, y is negative 5 equals m, my slope of 2, times x, which off our point is negative 3, plus b. Negative 2 times 3. I'm sorry, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, so we have negative 5 equals negative 6 plus b. Add 6 to both sides, and we find out that b is equal to 1. Going back then to y equals mx plus b, we've got the m, we've got the b, so y equals 2x plus 1. This is the equation of the line that goes through the points negative 3, negative 5, and the point 2, comma 5. Let's try another example. Let's find the equation of the line that goes through 1, negative 4, and 3, 5. Again, we're going to start by identifying the slope, and then we'll find the y-intercept. Again, the points are x, comma, y. There's a first point and a second point. So if slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we'll take y2, y from the second point is 5, minus y1, which is negative 4, over x2, which is 3, minus x1, which is 1. 5 plus 4 is 9, 3 minus 1 is 2, so we have a slope of 9 halves. Now we're going to go back and find the y-intercept. Remember that y equals mx plus b. We again can use either point along with the slope in order to find the b. And as I said before, it doesn't matter which point we use, they'll both give you the same value for b. We use the first point in example 1, so let's use the second point in example 2. It doesn't technically matter which one we use, though. So y is equal to 5 equals m, the slope we found to be 9 halves, times x, which is 3, 
plus b. Remember that 3 is 3 over 1, so we multiply fractions straight across. 5 equals 27 halves plus b. Now, it might be useful to clear the fraction out of there. So let's multiply each term by 2. You recall from solving equations, we can multiply everything by the denominator. 5 times 2 is 10, equals the 2's divided out, 27, plus 2b. Subtract 27 from both sides. Negative 17 equals 2b. Divide both sides by 2, and I'm running out of space. b is equal to the fraction negative 17 halves. So we now have the slope is 9 halves, the y-intercept is negative 17 halves. If y equals mx plus b, we can plug those informations into the equation. y equals the slope, 9 halves, times x, minus 17 halves, the y-intercept. This is the equation of the line that goes through the points 1, negative 4, and 3, comma 5. To find these equations, we first have to find the slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and then plug everything we can find into the slope-intercept equation, y equals mx plus b, to solve for b.